Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator, where last episode we noticed that these guys were costing 50 gold per tile to build a road. Now that's not what they were supposed to cost, I was expecting it to cost 10, and I think the reason is because it didn't have any military engineers here. So we're sending these engineers over, these guys have halted, and for the time being these guys have also halted. Now I do want them to resume their road build. Every road costs 10 gold there. For these guys, yeah, that's 50 gold there. So I'm pretty sure that's the difference. So we're going to have these move down. They're going to build a road through this pass, create a triangle structure here, and then they're going to come up over this way and also down like so. Okay, so that'll keep them busy for a little bit. And once our engineers arrive down here, that'll be fine. I definitely don't want to spend 50 gold per road. That is would be absurd. <laughs> so I'm actually going to move these guys into here for the time being, and these guys will move on over. They should move fairly quickly. There's a road the whole way there, so it shouldn't be too bad. And we're currently at 49 gold. Okay. Now, I would love to get additional colonization going on over here. Of course, we could move pops in to make that happen. I'm not too keen necessarily on doing that for the moment, although that might become something that we want to do a little bit later on. So looking at the status of roads over here, we could definitely use a few additional roads. There's no doubt about that. First things first, we're going to have these guys group up, of course. And once they do, then we're going to build a road right here. It's not like that's going to take very long, but that is what we will do. So they're going to build a road up to there. And then from there, they're going to come down and put in a road kind of like this. And then come back and put it in down over to here. Then they're going to walk on down this way like so. Okay. So our road system is definitely developing. I don't like situations like this, but what are you going to do? <laughs> We need more work up here, there's no doubt about it, but our road situation is getting a lot better. It's not done. We're going to need additional roads over this way for sure, and maybe even down through this pass. But this will do. We're definitely able to get around a lot faster than we were previously. Now, there are no more farming settlements to be built. We could build ports, in theory. And really, that might not be the worst idea to put in ports. It increases the pop cap. And it does give my dr migration attraction as well. Interesting. The Seleucid Civil War has ended. We did not really expect much to come out of the Seleucid Civil War. So that was never really going to do much. Now Rome. They don't actually care about us. They're in a bellicose stance, of course. Interesting. Now, they have 7,800 pops to our... Uh, this is not our pop count. Where is our pop count at? Is that in our government somewhere? It should actually be in our diplomacy, shouldn't it? I know it's in here somewhere. That's the opinions there. So, they have 7,800, and our pop count is... In here somewhere. I know it's in here somewhere. And we'll find it eventually. The head of the Amatunas family just died. That's okay. I would have expected it to be here in the overview. For sure. Oh, it's right here. I'm apparently blind. We have 2851. So that is improving. Of those, over 50% are slaves. That's definitely something we want to work on. But that's for sure. That's going to take some work. Okay, checking in on the status of our road constructions. Many of those are going to be finishing up soon. And I think our next road over here... Oh, hello. That's a lot of gold for some legitimacy. Are we gaining legitimacy right now? We are. I think it's a frivolous expense. We're not going to do that. We do have a lot of gold that we're banking up at the moment, and we should consider spending that. 
on what is the question. We could do tax offices. Total income amounts on those are low. We can get a military tradition as well. And we're pretty much done with the heavy infantry here. That's a whole lot of freemen. Okay. There's also the rural traditions if we wanted to work on our heavy cavalry. Ooh, that's a lot of nobles. Armenia gains four innovations. Levy size multiplier is pretty good too. National manpower and monthly legitimacy. Morale of armies. There's a lot of good stuff in this tree. For now, we're going to take Born to Ride. That gives us a bunch of freemen. And then we're going to go for Cataphracts next for the nobles. That'll be great. So no big deal right now. Nothing really hugely major going on. Now, we wouldn't mind coming over into Armenia Maioris over here and putting in a fort over here. And in fact, we can. So if we do that and we would need one additional fort in Armenia Maioris, I feel like here is the place to do that for our mission. So that'll allow us to get a mission done. That's great. Now, we do lack a governor in Medea, and we should definitely put in, like, Nikor or Aduni here. I'm checking in. They're 97% Zoroastrian and only 11% Armenian. If we look at the actual pop info here. Okay. I mean, this is going reasonably well. But we may want to put them onto cultural assimilation nonetheless. So if we do that, that's up to 1.36. So that's going to be a whole lot faster. I like it. That is wonderful. So these guys are going to be finishing up their road over here. As far as additional roadage on this side goes, I think that I want them... I don't think there's really a point in connecting this with roads. There is a point going out this way, but we already do that. So I think we're going to come out to like dish and then put in a triangle structure here and then come over and connect this over here like that. And then I guess we may as well come up here and connect in that city like so. Okay. And then from there, these guys are probably going to head up here and connect in a road over this way. We're getting close to being done with the number of roads that I want built, though. There are a few more, for sure. And these guys, they are going to head up over this direction. And they're going to put in a road right like that. So that'll be fine. Is that going to be the last road that we want? Maybe for now, actually. Looking at our road setup, it's pretty solid. That's a little awkward here. I mean, we could have this guy, like, come up over to here after that and then just connect it in like that. That could work. Yeah, I think our road situation, as soon as we're done here, is going to be good. So these guys, they're going to finish up over this way. Then I would still like one road over here. Like, going from this location to, like, Valent over here. That'll be, I think, a good plan. Now, we did just get an oratory advance. And we don't really have any issues right now with our stability. So, happiness isn't really a high priority at this moment. Now, population growth is pretty much always always going to be a important thing for us. Right now, though, I think religious advances are good. What do we got in oratory? Uh, this is aggressive expansion, maximum research efficiency, monthly tyranny. 
I mean, the monthly political influence gain is nice, but our political influence gain isn't as bad as it has been. Let's check into, into the civic advances here. This might be where we want to sit for a little bit. Freeman and tribesman output wouldn't be the worst. Pop promotion speed. Pop migration speed. Unintegrated culture happiness. More political influence over here. Provincial loyalty. There's a lot of fairly good stuff over here. For the time being, I'm kind of interested in moving our way down over on this side. So we're going to grab the standardized measures for the moment. Cool. Once we have our road construction done, we should probably consider maxing out our legion size. Since we have so much money coming in. That would probably be a decent thing to do. We want to go to a... A combat width of, I don't know, maybe like 20-ish right now. What's supply limits like? 25? That's going to be spicy, honestly. If we really want to increase our legion size, we should probably consider going down like fighting dis fighting season, super, super numenarii, and uh, delay baggage train. That's probably going to be our best bet, down to Central Reserve. Yeah. A discreditable dalliance, huh? Hmm. Hmm. I, I think I clicked on the wrong one. I meant to click on the cheaper one, but... I looked away as I clicked, and I saw our cash go down by quite a lot. I think I might have clicked on the one that the uh, the child will want for nothing, but oh well. <laughs> we have plenty of cash. I meant to click on the cheaper one, but I think I misclicked that. If I did, that's my own fault. Okay, so this guy is going to come up over this way once he's done here, and try to build a road up through here, and then come around like that, and then come back and come through here, connecting that in like so, and then end up in Rhodopolis. These guys are going to wind up over here, and they are going to finish off a triangle structure here. I'd also like to fill in this pass here, and actually I would like to fill in these passes as well, like so, and then end up in Rhodopolis. So those guys will end up in the same place. I think I'm reasonably content with the status of our roads right now. We've got a decent road network. Or we will have a decent road network once that's all finished. So that'll be fine. We should be able to get places fairly quickly, all things considered. I would like to colonize these areas here, here, and here. As well as up over this way. I don't think... Any of this is ready for colonization just yet, and no. No, it is not. We need a lot more culture over here for sure. We are still losing some loyalty. However, we are 24% Zoroastrian over here. Things are definitely going better on this front. Like, look at this. This is going much, much quicker. 1.49% there. That is excellent. How long until we are able to do Zoroaster again? Not for a few more years, but that's okay. I want to check in on libraries. Anything that we've got that's reasonably efficient here? Yes, actually. We've got a couple of them. Cool. We can build a farming settlement. Okay. I'm not sure why, but we can. The Morian Civil War has ended, and now we hope that these two go into conflict. We also hope that the Seleucid Empire and Rome go into conflict with each other. That would be preferential. Or that Rome really starts fighting Carthage. That would probably be even better for us. I mean, Rome is in a slightly awkward position right now. That's fine. Awkward for us, I mean. They're in a good position for themselves. Road-wise, 
They've got barely any roads. Our road system is much better set up than theirs. We can now defend Armenia Maioris. That's great. So we would need to control Cappadocia. For that to happen, we would have to fight the Seleucid Empire. We will, but we're going to be very cautious about when we do that. Into Cappadocia Torica, we would also have to fight the Seleucid Empire. Saravine, also Seleucid. Planning for war, we can't get there. Although, oh, importing at least two iron. Yeah, and then we would need to control Melatine here. Where is that even? Oh, that's this province. Okay. And then we need to pick a side eventually. Or favoritism. Ah, I see. So these bypass each other. Fascinating. And then we can triumph eventually. Either way we slice it, we're going to be coming into conflict with the Seleucid Empire. We are going to wait to do that until such a time as they're a little occupied. Right now is not that time. But with our road system being finished up, was I really paused that whole time? I did not intend to be. <laughs> I intended to be building roads that whole time. Okay, <laughs> that's exciting. With that finishing up though, our, our road system project finishing up, that is going to free us up a lot of money. I just want to check over here. Uh, there really should be a road going here. After you're done here, come on down. Build the road on up, and then go back to Rhodopolis. <laughs> there we go. So that's queued up. That is fantastic. Our roads are finishing up, and I would... Are these guys still part of the Bosporing Kingdom? Yes, they're still a client state of the Bosporing Kingdom. Interesting. We could go back to war against the Bosporans. They're in a state of civil war right now. Well, we could do that. Take this territory from them. As well as some territory over here and get some nice borders with Rome. What could go wrong? No, we want we want to not have borders with Rome. I would like to keep a buffer state as long as possible. So that'll be okay. These guys aren't building road. Come on back, guys. Looks like they built the road over here that they were supposed to. They just need to head back over this way. Go back onto build road. Build the road on through. There you go. Then build the road over to here. And then come back. And then build the road down here. No, not like this. <laughs> build the road on through. And then come back the way you, you went in. Then build the road down like that. There we go. Okay. The question is, can we build the road through this uninhabitable territory? And I mean, that's a settlement there. We may or may not be able to. We'll find out. That may be why they dropped their road build. And I'm actually paying attention to it this time. Uh... Yeah, he's but a modest man. That's fine. So let's see if we get a road built here or not. This may be what caused our road build to drop previously. If so, that's okay. I understand that these passes are uninhabitable. Should still probably be able to build a road through them, I would think, but... Uh, looks like no. Okay. So we're going to have them come on out over here. We can't build the road in or out of them. So we're just going to walk on through. That's okay. Now that I know that that's the case, that's fine. We're going to have these guys finish their walk here. And then they are going to go back onto road build. Right about now. And they're going to head on over this way. Beautiful. These guys are, of course, building their road as well. And it is back down to costing 10 gold. It doesn't say in this tooltip right now, but when they finish this road, it'll verify that that's 10 gold. Yep, 10 gold right there. Perfect. So yeah, it's definitely the engineers. So over we head, and the Bosporan Civil War is now over. Good for them. 
We're going to come back around over this way, and we're going to come through this pass. Now, this is going to stop our road build. We're not going to build a road this whole way anyway, pretty much. Although, this might become a triangle structure. That would be okay if it did. These guys are currently heading up to Rhodopolis, and actually, I want them to build up like so. I don't know if we can build into this territory here. We'll find out. If not, we'll build this section of road a little bit later on. But after that, they'll come back to Rhodopolis. And that'll be fine. So our roads will be complete very, very shortly. We're done with mines and farming settlements. Now we could still build tribal settlements in quite a lot of locations. These give tribesmen output. And tribesmen happiness, as well as pop cap. It does reduce the local citizen desired ratio. However, I believe that in most of these locations where we can build it, like this one here, are we already at a 0% desired ratio? No noble pops, and there are no citizens here currently. The citizen desired ratio is what? For some reason, I'm not seeing the desired ratio here. There, there definitely should be one. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, so uh, our current desired ratio is 16. 16%. So that would drop the desired ratio, but I think in most cases, we just don't have citizens in a lot of these locations. I say as we have citizens in like every other location I've looked at. Okay. Yeah, so that's definitely something to think about. Do we want to drop our citizen count? Maybe. Do we think it's worth the tribesman output? Probably not, actually. Now that I think about it, I would guess no. And it looks like, yeah, they did indeed stop their road build over here. That's fine. And we'll just go ahead and employ this slave. Perfect. That will be just fine. So we're going to get both of these... Legion forces grouped back up over here. For the time being, I'm going to put these guys back onto road build once they arrive over here. And we're going to have these guys take control over building this road up here. These guys, they can come off of road build and they're just going to walk back to Rhodopolis. It won't take them as long to get there, so that will be just fine. We are sitting on about 600 gold right now, and I would like to spend that down. I feel like these tax offices just aren't worth building right now. I wouldn't mind building additional libraries, and we're going to do a few of those. Our martial advance is advanced, and we do want to move down to fighting season, for sure. That'll be great, and we'll do exactly that. I want to check in on our current research efficiency. That is much improved. We're up to 91%, and that's fantastic. It has come to our attention that our trusted advisor, Nikor Arantid, has been siphoning funds from our treasury into his own pocket for some time. The disappearance of monies collected from across Armenia eventually aroused suspicions, which combined with eyebrow-raising extravagances, such as extremely flattering statues of Nikor being erected, could not be written off as mere coincidence. Abuses of this kind surely must not be tolerated, lest the entire state apparatus becomes a charade for personally enriching vain aristocrats. The specific punishment is, however, up for debate. He's forfeited his position. We'll get ourselves a new guy who's actually the same guy. Perfect. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> He's the most qualified. What can I say? We can immediately call down Zoroaster, and that will convert up to five pops in our territory. That is so strong. That is incredibly strong. Like, look at that. We've made so much progress. That is absolutely insane. I want to take a look at our administration quick before we are done with this episode. And I want to see what our religious unity is looking like. Our lowest religious unity is now 14%. That's great. Our religious unity is progressing very nicely. This should really be moved over to religious conversion. So that'll be fine. Anything below 50% we want to have on religious conversion. Anything above 50%, we are not going to force them to be on religious conversion, although many of them are. 
And that's just something that the governor chose to do. So that's okay. It is, however, time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to spend this innovation. Actually, we could do that right now while I'm doing the outro here. We're going to grab military sponsors to work our way down to Super Numenaria. And you can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.